Next on Done in a Weekend Projects, transform your outdoor living spaces with these fencing tips. When it comes to describing their backyard, people rarely mention fencing. Instead, they talk about their favorite plants, their favorite features, or what they like to do out there, and rightfully so. But for those of us who really enjoy the backyard life, fencing is something that's incredibly important to consider. So in today's Done in a Weekend project, I'm gonna discuss the general benefits of fencing, as well as some of the most popular options you have to choose from, plus the pros and cons, and then finally, I'll leave you with some general next steps you can take to help you move forward with your fencing endeavors. You ready? Let's get started. From a functional perspective, it's pretty obvious what fences do. Keeping things like your kids, their toys, and the family dog in your yard, while also keeping things like strangers and some other family's dog out of your yard. But fences do so much more. Fences can also provide an added layer of security, privacy, and in some cases, be a great sound barrier. Another practical benefit fences provide is safety. For instance, fencing with an appropriate gate will help ensure that non-swimmers don't inadvertently end up in your pool, and a fence on top of a retaining wall will minimize the chances of someone taking a fall. But beyond its functional value, I get most excited to talk to my clients about the overall beauty that fencing can bring their homes and outdoor spaces. With so many fence styles available today, you're bound to find one that matches your personal design aesthetics, effectively extending the beauty of your home beyond its walls. Whether it's an idyllic white picket, regal wrought iron with stone columns, rustic split rail, or clean lined modern, there's a fence style that will help your home look its best. Now let's discuss the different types of fencing materials you have to choose from. Wooden fences are probably the most popular type of fences for a number of reasons. First, they come in a vast array of styles that will help create the character you're looking for. For example, picket, lattice, split rail, post and rail, fences with either vertical or horizontal boards, or even louvered. They're easy to construct, either with ready-made panels or from scratch, making them ideal for DIYers. They come in or can be easily constructed at various heights, allowing you to more effectively meet your privacy and safety needs. Wooden fences are also light to carry and on your wallet, making them a perfect choice if you're wanting to make it yourself and on a budget. Note that, like any other wooden structure that lives outside, it's important to choose a wood, like pressure treated or cedar, that's intended for outdoor use and that you properly maintain it. If you like the look of wood, but not the maintenance that's required, you can opt for a wood composite fence. But unfortunately, in my opinion, that's where the benefits end. Because they come in a much more limited selection of size, color, and styles, they're more difficult to install, and they can also be two to three times more expensive than the real thing. Aluminum fencing is another very popular type of fence. It gives you a similar appearance to wrought iron, but it's lighter than wrought iron and steel, and in a sense, gives you more bang for your buck. Like wood fences, they come in a wide array of styles and sizes, allowing you to choose one that matches your home and its features. They're fairly low maintenance. Unlike wrought iron and chain link fences, they'll never rust, and unlike wooden fences, will never need to be repainted. They're also less expensive than wrought iron or steel fences, and although more expensive to install than wooden fences, given the fact that they last longer and won't require as much maintenance as wood, choosing aluminum will likely save you money over the lifetime of your fence. The primary downside to aluminum fences is that they don't conceal much, like nothing. So if privacy is one of your primary objectives, you'll need to keep looking. Some people consider using PVC or vinyl fencing. It's incredibly durable, standing up to pests in any weather you throw its way, and rarely do you need to do more than just give it a good wash. On the downside, vinyl fencing comes in limited styles, is almost always bright white in color, and some feel it looks cheap or plasticky. But depending on your preferences and objectives, vinyl fencing could be the right choice for you. Now this brings me to offering you a few practical next steps. Before you spend too much time trying to decide which type of fence to buy, I'd recommend that you spend just a few minutes jotting down and prioritizing your objectives. Just doing that will cut down your options right out of the gate. In addition, you also need to check your local ordinances and HOA requirements, as both could directionally change your decision on which fence to choose or if you can install one at all. Do a little research. Now that you've clarified and prioritized your objectives, shop around at big box and other local stores to get a better understanding of the cost and requirements of installing a fence yourself. In addition, get quotes from a few recommended professional installers. Neither will cost you anything but a little time, but both will help you make a more informed decision on how to approach your fencing project. And finally, make sure to verify your property lines. The last thing you want to do is either install your fence on your neighbor's property, which wouldn't be very neighborly, or conversely, install your fence too far into your property, 
in effect giving your land away. This may require getting a property survey, but in the long run, it and the peace of mind you'll have will be well worth the cost. Well, I hope this video has provided you some valuable information about your fencing options, as well as some practical tips that will help you move forward with greater confidence. As always, please visit us at xmark.com backyard for more done in a weekend project ideas. Until next time, let's get outside and keep enjoying that backyard life.